This is part 27 of the Lion Building 5 inch gauge. And in this video we continue with the rods attached to the frame. In my previous video I turned up these rods for the frames. Here I'm machining the ends of the rods to a rectangular section. Okay, so I'm just busy setting up so that I can get the, the orientation of the flat on this end, which I'm going to machine, uh, in line with the flat on this end. So I've got my set of my stack of uh, parallels there. And I'm just going to use a height gauge to find the height to set the height of the height gauge. Knock that off, set it to zero. So what I want to do is raise this three millimeters, which is what we machined off the component. Three millimeters. So I'm using some adjustable parallels. So you can adjust these to whatever height you want. So I'll put that in there. Adjust it up so it's just touching. Okay. Tighten that down. Okay, so now I can put this flat on here and hold it down. Excuse me if I get a new way. Okay, that looks champion. I'll just give that a tappy tap tap. Tappy tap tap? We have I heard that before? Tap, tap, tap. Oh yeah, Quinn at Blondie Hacks. Quinn at Blondie Hacks has got some absolutely fantastic, very high quality tutorial videos for the home shop machinist. Definitely worth a visit, highly recommended. I'll leave a link in the description below. That's Quinn at Blondie Hacks. Get it nice and tight. Happy tap tap. So now it just remains to machine them to width. So they need to be um, eight millimeters wide or five sixteenths. Um, so it's, this is 10 bars. So it's just a case of taking a millimeter cut off each side. 
So this is four millimeter thick and unfortunately my parallels that I can use, the thinnest I've got off is four millimeters wide. So what I've done is I've just bent up a piece of uh, scrap copper to put on there and that will allow me to clamp that in place. That's them done. So when I've offered up one of the horizontal rods to the um, horn plates, I'm not really quite happy with the way they fit. I've left the uh, flat portion of the rectangular section a little bit too long. So I'm going to uh, try and fix that. Okay, so I've put it back in the lathe and I've set my cross slide at an angle. So the idea is I would just try and machine back using the same radius tool as before that corner at an angle and blend it in and hopefully it will uh, bring that edge back and it will fit better into the uh, between the horn plates. So we'll give that a bash. Obviously we've got to take it very gently. That looks a lot better. So that's the horizontal rods fitted. I'm not going to finish off the, the riveting. Uh, I'm going to leave that till later on. So now we need to uh, fit the rods on the ends. So these need to be bent. The problem with 303 stainless steel is it doesn't take deformation very easily. So if I try to bend this cold it will more than likely crack and fracture uh, so we'll, we'll uh, apply some heat so I've got my protractor here set to what I think the angle should look like so the rod has to come up to the the beam and there's a, a little like foot plate goes on here which I think I'll silver solder on as a separate item but we'll see so anyway, so that's a protractor set so I'll take this out of the way so I've got a couple of blocks uh, well let's put this in first so I'll put the polished side in over nice and tight got a couple of, uh, I've got a plate here but it's actually a parallel which I can place in line with the protractor as a visual reference to get the angle somewhere near when I bend it and then we can fine tune it once we're there, once we're nearly there that looks about right I think I'll move it in a bit actually So I think that will give us a, a visual reference. Maybe I'll pull it back again. It's hard to tell exactly where it needs to be, but anyway, that should be okay. So I've made a little tool. Silver soldering on here is a bit messy. It's a bit excessive, but never mind. So it's just a bit of bar drilled to fit over the uh, the rod should fit over the rod, there we go um, so I'm gonna, the idea is that I need a tight bend in this corner here um, and I'm going to heat this up to a, a cherry red so I just need something to get in close and just uh, make a bend without and, and keep the 
the bend tight and the rest of the bar as straight as possible. So anyway, that's the idea. That looks spot on. To make the foot plate, I first of all drilled a hole through a piece of 303 stainless steel. I then milled flats on each side. Scraping on the correct angle for milling. After cutting on the band saw, I put the part back in the milling machine for finished machining. Okay, so to um, get the right position for these components, I've just marked off this plate which um, is basically the space this rectangle here which includes the buffer beam at the back so I can clamp this in place and use these lines to get it just about right and then silver solder it okay it's ready there for silver soldering nicely clamped in position
this is the best picture I have of the actual foot plate. Looks like it's a little shy of coming to the end of the buffer beam. You can see one nut or bolt set to one side of the centre line. So presumably it's got four bolts attaching it to the uh, frame. So that's it in place. And if we put the buffer beam up against the frame, that's what it's going to look like. Don't forget to give Quinn a visit. Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. Thanks for watching, see you the next time.